Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Lorraine from The Sacred Alchemist 1111. Thank you so much guys for stopping by my channel. I hope that you're all not doing too bad. Um, this is going to be your earth sign reading for June 2020. So that will be for Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo air signs. Do you know something? The whole day I've been doing readings and I keep on mentioning air signs. Now, I don't know, you might have air in your chart or you might be dealing with somebody who is an air sign. But I, um, prior to me saying that just now, um, I got um, like a message come through to say that they are going to come to your aid. Okay, um, they're going to come to your aid. So I do feel that maybe you've got some kind of legal situation. The first thing I thought of um, earth sign is that you've got a legal situation Um but somebody is going to be coming to your aid to help to, you know, to help you out. All right. Um, so that's something that might actually um, indicate something along the lines of probably like the Justice card or the King of Swords. If it might come up, um, it may not even be relating to that. But I do feel that there is some kind of air sign kind of energy. So I'm assuming it might, you know, have something to do with this energy this message coming through about you getting some kind of assistance okay so guys how are you i hope that you're all not doing too bad you are focused on your goals you are being very positive minded um not settling for less not step certainly not stepping into fear okay so let's just hold that positive energy and we are going to get started now on your reading now first and foremost Please be aware that this is a general reading. It is definitely not pertaining to any specific stars home within the earth element and it's not about your gender, okay? So you know that it is a timeless reading after all earth sign. As always, please take what resonates, all right? And leave the rest of the reading for somebody else. Now, let's see what we've got with the <coughs> wisdom of the oracle. What have we got? So first and foremost, we've got building blocks. Now, it did come up in reverse, okay? Um, I'm going to take it in reverse because I don't feel um, that you are where you need to be right now, where you should be right now, okay? Um, I wasn't normally taking oracle cards um, in reverse, but there's certain things that I'm trying to, um, that I'm, it's like kind of resonating with me to start to give more readings with regards to the reversals. Um, I feel that I can go in more detail when I do that. Okay. So um, for those who are not used to, um, you know, reversal readings, then um, maybe you need to go to a different reader. But I do feel that it's more um, better for me to, discuss reversals um, in a reading now let's get back now this building block of yours you've got the plans you've got the ideas you do have it it's like a blueprint you've got the you know the um the business map sorted out um this would indicate to me that there has been a delay a serious delay um that has actually sort of hindered the progress um, of your plans right now okay we've got 28 so 2 and 8 is 10 so I do feel that something needs to be closed off fully before you can then continue okay now for some of you guys you could actually be leaving a home or it could have something to do with a project um, building a home um, something to that effect but it is not yet complete okay it's either it's not completed or it still needs to be worked on, okay? Let me pick another card. Basically, like, a work in progress, okay? Um, for some of you guys, it could have a, a property um, sort of intertwined in this. Now, um, I do feel that maybe it's to do with you needing to do a little bit more due diligence where this energy is concerned. I've got serendipity, but it's upside down. So another card that um, this chance meeting of yours isn't yet ready. This is what I'm hearing. Okay. It's not ready yet. Um, 
I don't feel that you are ready enough, but this is coming in. Um, and I know that it, there, there's a connection to this building block. I do feel that this could actually be somebody that could be coming to give you assistance. Um, from what I'm picking up here, it's as if like you're trying to figure out, you're trying to get your get your head into gear as to what you need to do. And I just feel that this is like a manifestation, trying to manifest um, somebody to come into your life to help you, okay? We've also got a 10 difference as well. So you've got 28 and then you've got 18 as well. So there seems to be some kind of ending, guys, that you're going through, okay? Um, and this is really quite important um, that it, you kind of deal with that first. I feel that you need to deal with that first because nothing else is actually going to come in until you've actually dealt with those, you know, those issues. Okay, so just to get some extra extra details, I'm going to use the playing cards, okay, and find out a little bit more as to what's going on with these um, individual cards. So first and foremost, spirit, why did building blocks show up? Money. Isn't that always the way? Money. Money issues. Um, we know, I mean, this is obvious guys. All right. Um, I do feel for some of you guys, you were in the process of getting a loan. You was in the process of getting everything sorted out, finances and contracts. Um, but again, for some of you guys, or for quite a few of you, it's like you've run out of money. And, um, you're close to really closing this deal. But it's something that you need to really focus on a lot. And I do, I'm, I'm hearing finances are limited, okay? They are limited at the moment. Let's see what serendipity is. But I do feel to say it's have no fear, serendipity is here, okay? Um, it's going to come in when you least expect it. <clears throat> For some, you're calling it in. For others, you won't know. So, excuse me, um, it's going to be like a pleasant surprise. So, two cards is here. Now, as I said to you, I feel as if you've got somebody coming in with an offer. Now, this is long term. The Jack of Clubs is um, an indication to me that this is going to be an energy that is coming in um to give you assistance this is you this is the queen of diamonds or the queen of pentacles okay um i'm more feeling that this energy this knight of wands energy or the jack of clubs is somebody who is going to be able to rush in to know exactly how to handle things this guy seems to be a, it's, it's a male by the way um this guy seems to be quite a pro i mean, i can see him he was, I can see somebody who is Caucasian, light brown hair, very um, athletic build, about six feet, six foot two. Um, his hair's kind of like a little bit spiky, but it's kind of not. He has it kind of very, um, you know, that quiff sort of thing. Um, but this guy is very good at what he does, okay? He's a bit of a player, but... Um, this has nothing to do with pleasure. This is pure business. And I feel, Earth sign, that you're somebody who just wants to get your bloody money sorted out as soon as possible, all right? Because you've got other things that you need to be dealing with. Um, this, he works in retail, not retail, sorry, real estate. Something about this guy is going to be quite helpful to you, okay? Um, he likes, I can see him so clearly as if I'm looking at my deck of cards, He's got a very cute smile um, and he drives a silver car. Um, I see him wearing that brown sort of like Oxford style kind of shoes. Very, very smart, very immaculately dressed. Very, very immaculately dressed. Um, but he's got a way about him. He's got a way about words, but he knows his stuff. Okay. Um, I also am sensing... I'm hearing that it runs in his family, but he's he's got connections and I do feel this person is going to come in and to give you the assistance that you need to complete this project, okay? Wow, that was a little bit of a lengthy one there. 
Um, but yeah, this is what I'm picking up for you, Earth sign. All right. So let's get stuck into the tarot. Let's see what um, what else we can pick up for June 2020. Um, Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. So, what we've got going on here is coming out from disappointment. I do feel that this has been very heartbreaking for you, um, in all honesty, because of the situation. This lockdown energy has just driven everybody around the bend, okay? And um, this could actually have had something to do with uh, a loss of um, property, loss of employment, a loss of a slot, time. Um, and it's just been really a very, yeah, it's just been very, really, very, very stressful. Okay. But you have been really working hard towards coming out from this Three of Swords energy. Okay. Which is amazing. Everything will sort itself out in the end. Um, and I do believe that that has been sort of like your motto as well. Everything will work itself out. Don't panic. Um, when I said that, I saw 11.11, so 11 minutes and 11 seconds on my phone. Um, that could have a profound um, message for you guys as well. 11.11. Right, so the next card that we've got for you, uh, Sam. We've got Judgment. So, as I said, there it's like some kind of um, epiphany that's coming through. Um, this has definitely, be, definitely been a jolt. It's some kind of shift. And I do see that this is you sort of like praying as well for, you know, oh my God. Like, as soon as this is over, please give me the power that I need. Or please give me the encouragement that I need to move forward. You know, this is some serious energy of... Um, manifesting but it's also to do with you recollecting and going over certain notes um remembering because everything reconciliation reconciling or refriend or whatever the case may be refriend <laughs> um it, this is to do with obviously things from the past coming back um for a second round or this could actually be the person from the, your past who are described in this energy of the serendipity could be the person that could be coming back to kind of like help you. I'm not sensing anything intimate here. Um, it's not that person's style, okay? They do make a lot of money. They're good at their job. They know what they're doing. But I don't think they're going to be stupid enough to pull off something where they're mixing business with pleasure, okay? This person feels that he's about 35 years old. 30, 35. And he's got like a great, not great, stubbly sort of like beard growth but it really looks good in him this guy's very attractive and he smells nice too right the next card that i've got guys is temperance so i do feel that this is somebody that's coming through it could be a sagittarius that you're dealing with okay but this person has got your back um i really do feel this they're going to give you the patience that you need, um, the reassurance is going to be given to you that things are going to work itself out, okay? Um, now, with the temperance card as well, you do need to have a little bit of patience because divine timing is at play here. And I really do feel that the judgment card feels to me that you was answering asking you know for assistance and trying to pray to get yourself out from this energy because it looks as if this and this lady is the same real anguish really you know not knowing what to do i feel that this is your higher self reaching up and you have this, this kind of like earth angel that's coming to the rescue so it's not all it's not all doom and gloom okay it's not all doom and gloom earth sign Next card we've got for you is the strength card, but it's in reverse. So I do feel that at this precise moment in time, you wasn't really in a strong enough position to do anything right now because the temperance card is there to really help you out from this situation, okay? But it's not like to say that you're not coming 
off strong okay or you know it's you, you can repel it because i really do feel that you need the assistance i feel that you're definitely dealing with some kind of fire sign okay um aries leo sagittarius Okay, the next card I've got for you guys is the Two of Pentacles. So you could be in your head about a little bit of um, to and fro at this precise moment in time. I do feel that it's you sort of like living in the moment and trying not to focus too much on the energy of living in the future because it's holding too much anxieties and you're not going to be using the current energies that this planet has to offer you right now with regards to your movement. If you're living in the present stay in the present okay learn from the past don't live in it okay plan for the future but don't you, you you can't live in the future because you're not there yet all right so i do feel that this is you sort of like going over your in over and over and over in your head about things that needs to be done and sorted out um what's working for you from what isn't working for you and you're just literally just trying to stay cool all right the next card that i have for you we've got is the eight of wands fast communication i saw you're dealing with a fire sign fast communications coming through um i do sense that this is going to reignite this um vigorous energy okay vitality things are going to be starting to look up to you know for your situation okay it's not all doom and gloom guys all right the bottom of the deck is the world card upright so that's amazing so really and truly i do feel that whatever's going on here with you it's about you needing to learn something first these building blocks are but it's to do with property seriously it's to do with property it's to do with property um let me just have a look at what's going on with this three of swords please Spirit, what can you tell me about this Three of Swords? Why is the Earth sign dealing with the Three of Swords energy? What's going on here, please? Thank you. That's what it is. Two of Cups in reverse. Now, this could have been you leaving a job, um, something that was going to be very lucrative for you. Um, you may have actually got furloughed or fired. Um, and... You know, it's not really something that has been very easy for you to do, but it has been a real test of your patience, okay? Um, and another one could have been actually the loss of a relationship, okay? Where you needed, um, to, you know, to deal with it in such a way, but it's left you sort of like virtually not penniless or broke, like but it's left you with money problems okay because i do feel that this is coming out from a situation okay what's with the let's touch on this energy from this eight of wands okay what's going on with this person this is a message that's coming through and it feels really exciting it's as if you're going to get some good news that's coming in and it's really going to start to yeah Look at this. We've got the we've got the hierophant. Um, this could be you getting some kind of compensation, okay? The loss of a company coming out from a company, um, or this could be to do with marriage coming out from a marriage, and this feels like divorce settlement. This feels like this is some kind of message from a solicitor, a lawyer that I'm picking up here, okay? The bottom of the deck for the clarifiers is the lovers card again in reverse, guys. Some of you would really have left a marriage okay um and you're really need, needing to start from scratch there's no shame there's no harm there's no worries when these things happen i know it feels really scary guys but at the same time you've got somebody that's coming to you and they're going to help you all right you're not on your own now i'm going to pull um a card to find out what the overall energy is what the outcome is what is the overall outcome spirit for this this reading okay for this amazing earth sign remember guys we've got to keep it positive all right we've got to keep it positive you're already positive you're already successful this is what you need to start to manifest into your life okay it's happening it is done 
Okay, right. So we need to get the overall outcome. So what can you tell us? Got the nine of pentacles. So, all right, you're on your own. You're going to get your independence. You're going to be focused on your finances and your money. Okay, maybe you might need to unlock some assets, but you are going to be all right. You're going to be fine. All right, you're going to be all right. You're going to be content with what you've got right now. And it is a blessing right now. Okay, it is a real blessing because remember, guys, there's certain people out there that don't even have a fraction of what you've got right now. Okay. And we need to sort of stay humbled. I'm going to close off this reading with just throwing you another Wisdom of the Oracle. Um, just asking Spirit um, any kind of additional messages that we've got from the Wisdom of the Oracle that could be useful to you guys. All right. Let's see. We've got Treasure Island. Yeah. And look at that number nine as well. This is you. You know, your worth. I do feel that you're going to be starting to get some ideas, creative ideas as to how to make an extra income. Um, so that's brilliant news. Um, you are going to be able to find your fortune. OK, um, so hun, nine and nine is 18. And what card is this? Serendipity is 18. One and eight is back to being nine again. OK, so hun, it's all it's all good. OK, it is all good. And this is going to give you a sense of complete and utter satisfaction and fulfillment. OK, guys, this is what I've got for you. It's so amazing. I love this reading. Thanks again for watching. If you don't mind, please put in um, a like, you know, up for me. And also don't forget, you can also share and subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification bell so that you can be informed by email once I've actually uploaded new content for you guys. Now, this brings me to the ending of the reading for you guys. I will be back in July for your 2020 reading as signed. So please, please, please don't worry. Um, you're going to be fine. All right. Keep it positive, as I said, and you're going to end up on a positive note. All right. And look what you've got. The Nine of Pentacles, you've got the Treasure Island, and it syncs up beautifully with Serendipity. Take care of yourselves, guys. Till next month. This is Rain signing off. Peace.